Odell Beckham, uh, it's time to trade him. It, it's not his fault. You know, I'm a big fan of Odell. He sent me a signed jersey, uh, you know, and I, he doesn't know how much this meant to me. Uh, it's not his fault. It's not his fault, but I, he just it's just not working out. And I know you're going to go on and do great things and bigger and better things wherever you go. And, and even if you stay here, I'm going to love you because uh, I, you sent me this jersey signed, you know, and um, you did great things. And I'll never forget the Cowboys game when you, you did great things. And uh, this, again, it's not Odell's fault. He did nothing wrong. He's... Uh, Nice guy that gets a bad reputation. He sent me this signed jersey. I, I tweeted him a thousand times, sending his video like a thousand times, showing him how much I love him. And I just... <laughs> this clown, Sir Twat, is on Twitter for like 10 years with 10,000 followers, 40 years old, still trying to get famous, still spamming timelines, still doing whatever it takes. To... And outside of Cleveland... He's fucking twirling around in obscurity. Nobody outside of the Browns fan base knows him. It's embarrassing. As much as this guy spams timelines with this garbage content, he still only has 10,000 followers. It's embarrassing in a day and age where anyone can get famous. Anyone can get famous. This dude is still twirling around in Twitter obscurity in Cleveland, Ohio. No one outside of Browns fans, no one knows who he is. Get off his sack, bro. He's gone. He threw your quarterback under the bus. I mean, I thought you was a Baker fan. He threw your quarterback under the bus, fractured the locker room. He should have came out like a man and said, listen, I want trade. It's not working out here. No offense against Baker, but I just can't play with him. That would have been better than having his daddy come out and make a 12-minute video, uh, basically throwing the quarterback under the bus. And uh, But he signed my jersey after I tweeted him so many times. You're an embarrassment to Browns fans. <laughs>